Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. Today is the day we are getting the sole function lateral arm brace installed on the Q50. The Q50 is already up on stands because, well, we just filmed the sketchy repair for the rear diff bushing that failed recently on this Q50. God. If you guys have been following along, you'll know that already. But if you haven't been, go to a previous video and check out that sketchy repair and see what we did to resolve the rear diff bushing failure issue because there is no, replace there is no replacement currently for a rear diff bushing for the Q50. So we were left to our own devices. Unless, of course, you want to spend about $3,000 to have it replaced at the dealership. No, thank you. So we got the sole function lateral arm brace here ready to be installed. It uses your factory hardware, so there is no hardware with this thing, which is kind of cool. However, I did notice an issue underneath the car. Tools that you will need to tackle this installation are pretty simple. All you'll need is a socket wrench uh, with potentially an extension if you have trouble reaching uh, the nuts, a uh, 10 millimeter socket, and you'll need a 19 millimeter socket, potentially a breaker bar, just a, a larger socket wrench or an air impact tool if you have it, but a breaker bar is pretty uh, pretty sufficient when it comes to breaking those uh, nuts loose for the rear subframe, and then a razor blade. I'd also recommend some ramps or at least a floor jack and uh, jack stands. It's much easier to take care of this job when the rear end of the car is lifted up slightly. It gives you a little more clearance under it. This does not come with installation instructions either, by the way, as far as I know. There's nothing in the box for me. So, um, as far as I can tell, this is the only instructional DIY do-it-yourself installation video for the sole function rear arm brace. From what I can gather, it attaches both sides of the rear subframe together. So here's one across the other side of the car and there is the other. So you have to take those nuts off of the rear subframe and put the brace up in place and then mount it. And that sounds easy enough and it adds some rigidity running across ways uh, across your rear subframe. Cool, cool, all good. But uh, you guys see some remnants from that rear diff repair. Anyway, uh, what's gonna be the problem that I've seen, something that we have to address or try to work around is this here. I don't even really know what this is. See, it mounts right there. This is like a shield of some kind. We could probably just take this off uh, for now. But it's supposed to go right up in here and it bumps this. So let me, let me get this camera on a stand and see what we can do. Super awesome day, by the way. Rear diff bushing fails and then I break a leg off my tripod. So we're seeing what we can do here. So. can see how that box is in the way. First of all, I'm gonna remove the shield just to get some extra room and visibility. It's a 10 millimeter, by the way, so make sure you go find yours. And you'll need a deep socket, too. Because the normal one is just a little short. Now, I'm not sure what this box really even is. Somebody let me know in the comment section below. I have, I have no idea. Uh, but there's a small bracket and it's just one held on by one bolt right here. And that again is a 10 millimeter. So we're gonna remove that just so it should just dangle freely. You can see how this is going to become an issue with this brace going where it needs to go. It's either pinching that box up toward the diff or it's flexing it way over here. So I guess we got to see what we need to do to remedy that. But for now, I'm just going to remove the nuts off the rear subframe and get this brace put in place. And I'm going to pull this box this way. These are 19s, by the way. If 
before releasing the other side, I'm actually just gonna put it, just gonna put it in place and put the nut back on. Should give us, we should still have enough wiggle room to get the other one in place as well. box out of the way you can't see it here I'm up to the left but oh, man, you still don't... okay the brace is in place and it's just kind of hand tightened or finger tightened down on both sides so it's just in place enough. It looks really sweet under here, gotta say that. But it's it, it's just tight enough down to where it's gonna hold firm when we're messing around under here, but it's not locked in. So uh, we're just gonna see what we gotta do about this box. Weird. All right, well, I think I found, figured out a reroute if we can make it happen. So this, I just pulled this hose off you guys remember if it was stuck up on this side there's a little neck right there i don't know again i don't know what this is still it got to be something to do with the fuel tank i don't know these are labeled right here this says fuel tank this says purge and then this one doesn't say anything so i'm not sure what exactly that goes to but this runs to the box itself from this little and there's a sensor so it's it's getting some information it goes to this box, and I just went ahead and pulled the hose off of that little neck there. Um, or maybe it's a vac, maybe it's vacuum. May I, I really don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. But this hose right here isn't long enough. So what I want to do is just put the bracket, hook the bracket to one of these guys, this guy here, moving it to where that shield was. That can mount there. Hold this firmly in place then this hose is too short. So I just want to get a longer piece of hose that's going to go onto that neck. And I think we should be okay. Half inch vacuum line or something. Okay, I took a measurement and it is just over a half an inch in inside diameter uh, of that hose. So I got some 1930 seconds. That's just slightly over half an inch. Uh, and this is just like crankcase ventilation hose. So it should be good enough. Um, it's basically all that stuff is. There's no clamps or anything. So I'll put this up on that neck first. Just make sure we have enough length. We'll cut it to size and then hopefully we can get that box to mount under there properly, securely, and not be in the way of anything. So if we had enough hose, you could pretty much mount this thing anywhere you wanted, but I'm gonna put it right here, I think. Well, guys what I've decided to do is bend this little tab down this is like a little retainer tab uh, to prevent this from rotating in its normal location I just bend it down so it's flat and what I'm going to do is put a little I have a spacer you can use several uh, washers or something I'm gonna put this up on here let's see if I haven't decided yet I'm gonna put it can I get it here I'm just gonna put it there, I think. So I'm gonna use several spacers. It's gonna get, or I'm gonna use this spacer. You can use several washers. It's gonna put it here, give me a little bit of clearance from this heat shield, and then just use the factory nut that holds that other shield in. That's down, usually down here, this, this shield. I'm just gonna not put this back on because who cares? So that goes there. I'll rotate that enough to go there. I changed my mind completely, guys. I changed my mind. I'm making something else work. This actually ended up working out better than I could have even imagined. I'll explain in a second. God, it's money. That is money.
not kinked. Oh, I love it. So, if you guys can't tell, I relocated that box completely. Used to be right here, right? In this, in this region. Actually, mounted back here, set right here. Heat shield right here, which we could technically put back now. But why would we? Because we got this badass soul function brace. What I did is move this box again, use that spacer. Just use an, a stud that's already there to hold this heat shield on. Put the spacer in behind underneath the bracket. Bolted it up nice and tight and firm. The exhaust shouldn't hit it. It's going to hit the diffuser out here in the back, you know, before anything. That'll stay clear. And we'll pay attention. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll move it. So what I did was I basically flipped hoses. I took the, the long hose that went from the sensor part and ran all the way over to the box. I moved that to the lower side and put it up on this neck up here. And because it already had a, a, a natural curve from the factory, I was able to get it on the top side of this brace to keep the brace totally clear. The hose that I had purchased, which is this stuff, um, it's not flexible enough. It would it kinked right there. I heated it up even and it was still kinking. So I took the long hose, moved it to the other port and ran it over to the neck. And I used the hose that I bought, which just a short piece, um, cut it down to maybe, what is that? Like maybe one foot, maybe 10 inches, something like, well, maybe, maybe 12 inches and ran that over to the sensor box. So it's perfect. And then we're just basically discarding this shorter hose, which was originally uh, this bottom piece, you know, because the box is over here. So just, we'll, we'll hold on to this in case we gotta change things up, but it worked out great. So again, this, this hose used to be on top. So we moved it just to the, the bottom port and we kind of reversed them. So the long one goes to the bottom and over to this neck. The short one now goes over to the little, you know, sensor setup over here. See that? Goes right to the box. It's right here now. Pretty simple. That looks good now. Soul function brace in place. Little whatever that is, breather, baffle. It does say air on the box somewhere around here. So I don't know, it must just be a breather. I don't, I don't know what this is. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys know what the hell that thing is. But it's totally relocated now out of the way, you don't even notice it. It shouldn't hit or rub anything. It's firmly in place, so it's not gonna vibrate. And we got a great visual of the sole function lateral brace. I'm gonna get the exhaust cleaned up right here just to make it look pretty so we get some final, uh, final images. And I'm gonna crank everything down on the brace. We should be good to go. There it is guys, a relatively easy installation, a little bit of modification, a little bit of rerouting of some things underneath the Q50, but it's not too bad overall. I'm pretty sure you can handle it. Just make sure you have some uh, half inch or 19, 30 seconds uh, kind of uh, crankcase ventilation hose or heater hose, something of that nature on hand so you can do the rerouting of, of the breather tube. Other than that, floor jack, some jack stands, a couple of hand tools, and a razor blade, and you should be good to go. Can't wait to really get out and test this thing and see if it does indeed do anything. I'm not sure. It looks, in theory, like it would, uh, tying those two back portions of that rear subframe together, because you know as you do some of these lateral moves, you're putting a lot of lateral pressure on the chassis of the vehicle, and you'll see in some of those underside or undercarriage videos uh, where those subframe bushings flex and compress as it twists. Uh, that bar kind of ties those 
sides or goes yeah really the sides of that subframe together so when one compresses it's going to try to pull that other one with it and that should keep that subframe more flat in those cornering hard cornering situations so in theory it sounds like it would work and again i'm i'm pumped to get this thing out in the mountains and on the twisty roads to finally test it out hopefully we get there in the next couple of weeks and i'm sure you guys can see some of the residue from that failed uh rear diff bushing that left a mess over the exhaust pipes and on the subframe and blah 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 but check out that video for that sketchy repair if you haven't already thank you guys very much for watching and thank you as always very very much for your continued support it's appreciated more than you could even imagine more good stuff coming for the channel and for the q50 thank you guys again for watching appreciate it we'll see you in the next one